Okay, today I'm gonna explain a little bit on the uh, PCM uh, from the 1994-1995 uh, Jeep Cherokee XJ, which is a um, little bit modern because they have quite um, a different on the models of this one. We call the black plug is a 60 pin. Um, um, in this kit, in the manual we say PCM. But we can we can call today is uh, ECU. Okay, let's say it's call ECU. Um, in this case, um, you see this one. I put the silicone in here. I use this the uh, one hundred percent silicone rubber sensor safe. Sensor safe it means non conductive, so it's it's very cool. And this is very cheap. Um, I bought this maybe a couple dollars. Okay, the, in this case is um, back a bit stake because the owner um, tried to change the capacitor due to PVT maintenance sent to the um, uh, TV repair shop. Okay, well it's not bad, but it depends on the technician do it. This is a result. They changed this one before, but you can see this one is the wire, the soldering from the other leg which is they don't really clean it up before they do the job and here's the thing when they took out the silicone or epoxy whatever and it came out I mean you are soldering it sucks so this is a fix already I put this one in the back also clean so ready to go the moisture protection okay let's start I use this um, uh, power supply, 10 m so it's 10.2 m It's set at the 14.7, uh, which is uh, similar to the, the car battery when it's full charge. And then we turn it on. We turn it on this switch, which is uh, designated for the battery, and turn on all the simulator and the uh, digital oscilloscope and all the circuit. Okay, the last switch is here. When I turn it on, you will see this relay, ASD, or stand for auto shutdown, ASD relay, which is will come on in a few seconds and turn it off. And also this LED is uh, represent the engine light. Now let's turn it on, see. Oop, click, engine off there. See, this is a perfect um, combination. It means um, this, the um, MCU or ECU or microcontroller inside is working. Yeah. This is a power only set, which we call in uh, those the embed system. Okay, take a look on this one. I, I need to explain for the 7.3 or similar to 8 one and this is a 5 one 5 one is generally from here this is a regulator and we have capacitor two capacitor and that is a capacitor for 12 one and this capacitor is for the input of the uh, regulator to generate the 5 one for the rest of the uh, the component in here We'll use 5 one include the uh, TPS sensor but two sensor CPS and CMP which is how is that in here so this simulation will generate the signal for uh, CPS and uh, CMP so the sensor basically in your car at the five wheel and the distributor will use this one thing Okay, for the whole effect the sensor so then we start this simulator or um, we can call the power generator but this is generate two pulse it means generate two signal and we start we've got generate CPS and CMP and uh, this is a CPS signal and you can see it is uh, running it running because the CPU were waiting for the signal to feed in uh, to make the ECU working, you have to feed 
the CPS and CMP according to the, uh, the farming tables from the spec. And after they run, they will trick to auto shut down relay start to get the power to injector to the coil, in the initial coil. And this is uh, all the six cylinder. And this a big LED is for the charging system. And you can see if I slow down the charging system, it doesn't work. And then you go to above or maybe a thousand RPM. You can see, okay, this is a big one. It's a represent for the generator or alternator. And that the red one is for the coin to spark buck or distributor. So I don't have the distributor here to turn. So I really have one signal. It's what it show. Um, this ECU is already work. So uh, above that, we monitor this signal oscilloscope, the real one. To the this is a signal to send to alternator with charging. Now is uh, 14. So they will cut off about five. But according to their RPM, if you go lower, see. They're not charging that much, and they go higher, higher to become the they call DT cycle is a little bit you know, become more busy because you don't want to be um, kind of like uh, you have to be smoother when you on and off for alternator to charge the battery. So anyway, we're testing this one. I make the switch for the AC the air condition. I want to know the uh, the ECU work or not. So we turn it on, AC on, in the fan at the radiator is on. But um, if you slow down, according to the real car, uh, under under the uh, thousand RPM, the AC will off. You know, and you turn it on, the AC will back on and the fan will back on so this is how it works so this ECU is already fixed um, we change the capacitor and um, you know the uh, soldering spot which has become loose or cracked most of the ECU the old ECU if you don't do anything wrong they will happen like this because it's 30 years old okay so about that oh let me show you this one this is rpm to connect from here yeah, it work you see already calibrated same as the, the manual set anyway i think it's about it thank you very much for watching enjoy have a good day